Oh, you stopped it for me? I did. Thank you. You betcha. All right. So we were going ahead and doing some um, exaggerating breaths. And you know that your ace is at that. You've been doing that forever. You, that's all easy. You know how to make yourself big. You know how to make yourself small. So now we're going to go ahead and take that a little bit next level. But first, we're going to enjoy a little mini savasana. So for your mini savasana, I'd like you to go ahead and again, notice what's present in the screen behind your closed eyes. Whatever colors, patterns, shapes, or thoughts might be there, that's all fine and good. Let, them, let yourself notice those things and then please let them float away so that you can focus on nothing. While you are focusing on nothing, continue to feel your nerves ex excited, energized, but also completely relaxed. Pure action potential. Before we move on to the next thing, go ahead and take a moment to notice the temperature of the air moving across your skin, underneath your skin, and when you're ready, please exhale completely. As you inhale, go ahead and point your tailbone down towards the ground and let your back arch. And as you already know, you are making space in your rib cage to let yourself fill with breath. You're gonna exhale by pointing your tailbone up towards the ceiling and guess what? Crushing your guts. We're gonna take about 12 to 15 of these and you are so good at these. I know that you can make this an easy moving meditation. So while you are letting your breath cause your movement and your movement cause your breath, please focus here on massaging your sacrum. Focus here on just a little bit of traction to the back of your skull. Notice that you can kind of massage in between your shoulder blades and you're gonna keep moving in a way where this is more and more pleasurable. If that means making wiggles or adjustments, do so at any time. Once you've done about 12 to 15 of those little cat and cows, you're gonna go ahead and again, give yourself a mini savasana. Now, please always adjust if you've gotten a little taller because that's bound to happen here. And once you are comfortable on your hips, on your shoulders, on the back of your skull, again, please return your attention to the screen behind your closed eyes. What is the information your body wants to share with you here look like? No fear, no judgment, no attachment. Keep bringing your awareness back to nothing. Recognizing the information your body is giving you and still letting your mind relax into nothing. So we've massaged the sacrum up and down now we're gonna go ahead and take some windshield wipers to massage the sacrum across. So go ahead and let your knees separate a little bit here. And when you're ready, you're gonna enjoy a breath in. And of course, as you exhale, crush your guts. Your knees are gonna fall towards one side and do the twist. When you're ready to inhale, you untwist, air rushes into your lungs. And then you exhale and twist to your second side. Now, of course, you are so good at windshield wipers. If you wanna also massage the back of your skull while you do this, please feel free to do so. You're gonna move in your rhythm. You're gonna move in ways that are pleasurable to you. Again, you've got a lovely moving meditation here. Your breath causes your movement. Your movement causes your breath. You're massaging your sacrum. You're massaging the back of your skull. And you know from experience, when you do that, everything in between gets to fall into place. You don't have to use force. You don't have to try, you're already doing it. And when you're ready to go ahead and rest here, make sure you've done both sides equally and then go ahead and come back to the middle. And of course, you're going to adjust. Reorganize here so that you are as long in your spine as your body wants to be. 
as long in your skin as you can be. And as you fill your body with breath, again, please direct your attention to the screen behind your closed eyes. Little mini Savasana here. Notice what information your nerves are sending you from the surface of your skin in every direction as you are a whole body. And yet you can also keep letting go of these distractions, focusing your mind on nothing. Now next we're gonna go ahead and take some breathing bridges. Please make sure that you never flatten out your neck. And right now, go ahead and make sure that your shoulders are down off the back of your neck and really wide. When you take a breathing bridge, you want to bring energy up towards your upper body into places where you can massage and find pleasure. So remember, that's as much a goal as anything. From here, though, when you're ready, you're going to inhale, push into both of your feet equally and start to lift your hips up. Again, as your spine starts to rise up one bone at a time, weight moves to the shoulders, moves onto the back of your skull, your neck does not flatten. When you're ready to exhale, you go back the other way, rolling down one bone at a time, reaching your tailbone down towards your heels. Beautiful. All right, so you're gonna do about eight to 12 of these, working at your pace. And again, you're so good at these moving meditation. Breathing in as long as it takes for you to arch up. You're arching up for as long as it takes you to breathe in. You're exhaling for as long as it takes you to lower down. You're lowering down for as long as it takes you to exhale. And meanwhile, you're taking this moving meditation with perfect form pushing weight in to your big toe edges as much as you are into pinky toe edges. Reorganizing here at any time for this to be more pleasurable in the shoulders on the back of your skull. And we'll take maybe one or two more of these moving meditations. When you're ready to be done, go ahead and let yourself be heavy here and perhaps reorganize if you got a little taller. Again, we're gonna take a mini savasana here, noticing what is present in the screen behind your closed eyes. Noticing without fear, judgment or attachment. Returning what you see here in your mind back to nothing. And yet still completely aware of your skin in every direction as you are a whole body. Now when you're ready to from here, we're gonna go ahead and take another round of breathing bridges, but this time we're gonna add the arms. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do both arms at the same time because we can. So when you're ready, you're gonna exhale. As you inhale, go ahead and start to lift your hips up and at the same time, reach both of your arms up towards the ceiling your arms are gonna stretch wide of your ears as you bridge up. And when you're ready to exhale, your hips lower down, your arms go back the other way as well. And again, you're moving for how long it takes you to breathe. You're breathing for as long as it takes you to move. You're gonna enjoy these breathing bridges at your pace. Now again, please go ahead and keep readjusting here for this to be completely pleasurable. To be bringing weight to your shoulders exactly where it feels good. To be rising out of grounded feet, grounded on both sides. Big toe edge, pinky toe edge. For your last few here, Please notice the sensation of your skin moving through this slight breeze, how your skin and awareness might change temperature, how you might be noticing different textures. Your skin, such a magical vehicle, completely excited and yet at the same time completely relaxed. When you're done, you're going to give yourself a moment to just regroup and 
Please take your time to get there. There's no hurry. Again, we're going to enjoy a little savasana here. Just giving ourselves some time to regroup. You know what to do here. You're going to notice how your body is responding to the movement you just made. Please keep feeding the places that feel good, breathing into them, bringing oxygen all the way up to the surface of the skin. Exhaling, letting go deeply. Letting your eyes see nothing. Totally comfortable with nothing. Now please also go ahead and take your hands. You're going to bring them onto your hip bones, right? So let your elbows be a little bit wide. You're going to exhale here. And when you're ready to inhale, please pick your hips just a little bit up off the mat. Just floating here a little bit. We're going to go ahead and take our marches. But first, please notice what's underneath your fingertips. Those are your bones and they are awesome. So when you're ready, you're gonna exhale, crush your guts and let one leg come off the mat. When you inhale, you're gonna lower that leg down. Exhale, leg comes off the mat. Inhale, lower the leg down. So at first, we're gonna just notice here how your hip bones are two different bones. They sway, they move, and you might be feeling the vibration of this underneath your fingertips. You might also be feeling the vibration of this movement all along your spine and your whole body. And you are amazing. You might also be seeing yourself taking this movement in your mind. Once you have a good awareness here of how your hips shift as you are marching, you're gonna go ahead and let both of your feet rest down, lower your hips back down. And now please move your hands onto your, your tummy, onto the space in between your pelvic bones. We're gonna enjoy a mini savasana here, so of course please reorganize a bit if you need to take some space. But again, keeping your hands awake and aware. Notice the temperature of your clothing. Notice the temperature of your skin underneath your clothing. Please notice the vibration of breath traveling down into your body all the way up to the skin. And while you are feeling what you're feeling in your hands, please continue to practice visualizing nothing. Eyes closed. Not having to overthink. Not having to have judgment. Not having, not having to have fear. Perfectly trusting your body. Trusting your abdomen to rise and fall as you have been doing and are so good at doing for your whole life. From here, you're gonna go ahead and now take your hands on top of your hip bones. And again, we're gonna push into both feet, lifting your hips just slightly off of the mat. We're gonna march again, but this time, please let your hip bones be one big bone. You're gonna exhale, bring one leg up, but please don't let that hip drop. When you inhale, you're lowering the leg down keeping your hips steady. Exhale, switch sides at your pace, keeping your hip bones steady. Now remember your shoulders are as much part of this exercise as your hips. So while your hips stay steady, please reorganize in the shoulders so you're bringing weight into pleasurable places, strong places, confident places. Weight on the back of your skull, never crushing your neck. And again, you're so aware, so mindful here. You can feel your body moving under your fingertips. You can feel the excitement in your nerves, in your bones, and you can feel how strong you are keeping those things solid. Once you've done both sides of this equally and you're ready to stop, you can go ahead and lower your hips down. Please enjoy a couple breaths in and out. Again, let your hands regroup onto your abdomen to take another little mini savasana. You know what to do. Now when you are inspired to move, go ahead and 
release your hands and enjoy a breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna hug both of your knees up towards your chest. Go ahead and bring your hands onto your shins. We're gonna take a moment of gratitude here because not only do we get to crush our guts in a way that feels pleasurable, but we have this beautiful vessel for which to experience this life. And on that vessel are these two incredibly strong legs, and they're amazing. So now that you've given your lower body some positive affirmations, please let that travel down your nerves into all of your cells, the joy for having these legs, these muscles, this skin. And when you're ready to breathe in again, you're going to keep your head heavy on the ground, but as you breathe in, go ahead and push your shins into your hands and let your shoulders take a nice stretch here as your legs move away from your body. When you're ready to exhale, you're going to crush your guts and use your hands to pull your knees back towards your chest. Now remember, as a jujitsu person, you're taking away all the space. You give space because you're a nice person, and then you take away space because you can. Keep crushing your guts, bringing your legs in close and then making lots of space as you inhale. Good. Once you have done this work enough, you're gonna go ahead and stop this work with your knees comfortable. And it might feel nice to rock a little bit from side to side feel good to rock a little bit forward and back or perhaps to rock around in a circle. See if you can let your body tell you where it wants to go without you having to use force. And as that happens, please continue to see nothing behind the screen in your closed eyes. When you're ready to move on to our next bit of business, you're gonna let yourself come back to a grounded center place. Go ahead and hug your right leg with both hands. You're gonna exhale. And as you inhale here, go ahead and straighten your left leg forward and let it hover over the mat a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Crush your guts and then use that to bring your knee back to center. Now both hands hug your left knee. You're gonna inhale, push your right leg forward. Crush your guts and pull your right leg back. Switch your hands. Inhale, left leg comes forward. Exhale, crush your guts, left leg comes back. We're gonna alternate here, hugging one knee at a time. Perfect. Now, of course, this is another moving meditation, right? So take this at your pace. If you wanna breathe quickly here, you can. Just make sure that you're inhaling and pushing breath all the way down to your heel. Crush your guts and use that to bring your leg bones back to center. when you're ready to from here go ahead and let yourself come to a resting point hugging both of your legs towards your chest and again if it feels good to rock if it feels good to roll around in a circle do the things that feel good try to clear your mind of any thoughts judgments attachments let your body completely relax while it stays a little bit excited And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and glue your legs together. So of course you have one big leg. Please release your hands from here. And you're gonna tuck your hands with palms facing down underneath your tush so that your low back stays safe and so that your shoulders stay off the back of your neck. All right, so when you're ready to inhale, go ahead and press both of your heels forward, letting them hover over the mat. You're gonna crush your guts, exhale and draw your knees back towards your chest moving meditation good now remember you can feel how strong your psoas muscles are here way deep underneath your skin and you don't need to do these to death although you certainly can keep feeling breath moving all the way to the surface all the way down to your feet all the way back up to the base of your skull and when you're ready to be done here, you're gonna go ahead and stop this work with your knees close to your chest. Please go ahead and keep your hands tucked underneath you for just a moment. Now go ahead and point your knees straight up towards the ceiling. 
You're gonna go from here, and as you inhale, straighten-ish your legs towards the ceiling, and as you exhale, you're gonna bend your knees, moving them towards you, perfect. So here, your psoas muscle is in contraction because you've got, you've got your hips in flexion, but as you inhale and exhale, you inhale and straighten your legs, taking knee extension. You exhale and bend your knees, taking knee flexion. And of course, for you, it's another simple moving meditation. Let your nerves continue to collect information and send it to your brain. You might see that here on the screen behind your closed eyes. And this is so easy, your body just knows how to do it. Go ahead and notice what your brain is telling you and then let go. Let the screen behind your closed eyes return to nothing. When you're ready to be done here, you're going to go ahead and stop this work with your feet reaching up towards the ceiling. And again, you've got one big leg here. Please go ahead and exhale, relax your tummy. When you're ready to inhale, you're going to lower your heels towards the ground, moving from an L towards an I shape. Now your heels are probably not going to touch the ground because you're stronger than that. But when you're ready to exhale, you're going to crush your guts and let your legs rise back up towards the ceiling. Now the goal here isn't to show off how cool your abs are, but the goal is here to take a moving meditation. You move for as long as it takes you to breathe in. You move back up for as long as it takes you to breathe out. You breathe for as long as it takes you to move. You move for as long as it takes you to breathe. Again, your body is amazing here, giving all kinds of information back towards your brain. You can go ahead and see that in your mind's eye, but even here as you are moving, please practice nothing. Focusing on nothing, just letting your body move so perfectly, like you know how. And when you're ready to be done, you're going to go ahead and hug your knees towards your chest. And from here, we're going to release your hands and become the happiest happy baby because you deserve it. You're going to thread your hands through your knees and grab for your heels. Go ahead and kick your heels up towards the ceiling and let yourself rock from side to side if that feels good. Again, let your body find pleasure movement here. You might also get all kinds of important sensory information and you're going to let it go without fear without judgment, without attachment. Trusting your body to move into pleasure, to move in ways that benefit you without you having to overthink it. Finally here, please take a moment to remember that when your hands and your feet are touching, all the nerves there are lighting up in your brain in such a magical way See if you can feel that for a moment. Now when you're ready to, you can go ahead and release your hands, use them to scoop on the outside of your knees. You're gonna push your knees together. And from that, go ahead and let your arms open wide of your shoulders with palms facing up. And please walk your shoulders so they're down off the back of your neck. You're gonna inhale and straighten-ish both of your legs towards the ceiling, beautiful. Now as you exhale here, let both of your arms rise up. You're going to rise into a dead bug pose. Now please relax your shoulders down. Please take a moment to take a mini savasana here in your dead bug. Yes, your brain is getting all kinds of wonderful sensory information. You can feel the temperature of air on the backs of your legs, the backs of your arms moving um, a, a little bit between your neck and the ground. When your mind is clear, we're going to go ahead and take some toy soldiers, working left side first. Inhale here, letting your left arm move towards your ear, left leg moves towards the ground. Exhale, crush your guts to come out of that. Switching to the right side, arm and leg lower towards the ground. I don't care how far they get, you're moving as long as it takes you to breathe. You're going to crush your guts as your arm moves back. We're going to go ahead and take about 8 to 12 of these, depending on how much you want to work here. And again, perfect moving meditations. Oxygenating all the way down, fingers and toes, right side and left side. 
both sides of your brain might be noticing all kinds of wonderful stuff here. And you might clearly see how you're moving here in your mind and while you're feeling it happening in your body. But please try to keep that screen behind your closed eyes blank. Trust what you're feeling here on your skin. And when you're ready to be done with your toy soldiers, make sure you've done both sides equally and you're gonna go ahead and again, take a little bit of rest here in your dead bug pose. Relax your shoulders to the ground, relax your hips to the ground. You are a dead bug, so you can think of nothing. We're gonna now work in opposites. So we're gonna start with your left leg and your right arm. When you're ready, please go ahead and as you inhale, lower your left leg down, lower your right arm down, and again, you're getting so long. You're stretching your skin in so many directions. Please feel that lengthening. As you exhale, crushing your guts, arm and leg move back to center, you switch sides, right leg, left arm. Beautiful, and you know how this goes. We're gonna do these enough to again, notice the sensation of your skin moving through the air. Noticing the beautiful lengthening of your vessel in every direction. Moving from the middle of your body with so much strength and so much effortlessness. Letting your mind relax with nothing. ready to be done with this work, you're going to go ahead and again stop in a dead bug shape. Give yourself a little bit of time to get heavy, heavy in the base of your spine in your anchor. To be heavy but relaxed across your shoulders. To be resting lovingly on the back of your skull, a space in between your teeth. Please clear your mind and as you inhale, send breath all the way up to your toes, all the way up to your fingers. And as you exhale here, go ahead and bend your knees, hug your knees towards your chest, and again, let yourself move in pleasurable ways. Rocking, circling, cradling, whatever. Good. When you're ready to from here, and please take your time, we're gonna to come to lying supine with your knees open and the soles of your feet touching. Taking just that perfect external hip rotation, exactly. Now with this, please go ahead and curl your fingers a little bit, taking a tiger's claw. If you can, slide your arms up alongside your ears. You're gonna bend your elbows and overhead, let the tips of your fingertips come together to touch. So here's your infinity sign pose. We're gonna take a few moments here to continue to let major nerves touch one another and light up your brain in amazing ways. You might be seeing that happening here in the screen behind your closed eyes. I know this position is easy for you. That's cool. Whatever it is you're seeing here behind your closed eyes, keep reorganizing to focus on nothing. Focus on nothing. Your nerves are wonderfully excited and yet totally relaxed. So is your mind. Nothing but pure action potential here. We're going to take about eight to 12 breath cycles here to just focus on nothing. So now that your eyes can be totally relaxed, please go ahead and point your eyes once again to look towards the middle of your forehead. Again, with nothing on the screen behind your closed eyes, go ahead and notice colors, patterns, or shapes here. Don't take it personal. No power or meaning. You're not forcing an agenda. Please let this be so easy.
Now just as a reminder, because it's been a little while, your hands are here in Hakini Mudra, and when your fingertips are all touching like this, air is moving throughout your torso, all the way up to the surface of your skin, exciting all the way down from your pelvis to your collarbones and into your throat. This is such a good way to oxygenate and to be completely blessed in every cell of your body. And while that's nice, when you're ready to, you're gonna slowly let your fingers separate. Please notice how long it takes your fingers gently moving apart before you lose the sensation that you're still touching. You've got all of that electricity flowing around you all the time. So beautiful. Go ahead and let your hands come to relax along the sides of your body somewhere. Okay. We're going to take a few moments now to practice once again crushing your guts. However, we're going to take Breath of Fire, and I think it's been a while since we've done Breath of Fire together. So as a reminder, you're going to focus on your exhalations. You're going to try to do it quickly. But even though you're only focusing on exhaling, please know that your body is going to automatically inhale. You can breathe out through your nose, you can breathe out through open mouth if you're feeling really heated and you have fire to let out. It's up to you. In any case, when you're ready to, you're going to inhale and make a big booty belly. And as you exhale, you're going to crush your guts and probably make a sound. Do it again. Wonderful. When you're ready to, you can go ahead and let yourself breathe. And again, let's go ahead and notice here what is present in the screen behind your closed eyes, whatever colors, patterns, or shapes might happen to present here. And then again, please go ahead now and notice what it feels like on your skin, around your whole body. And of course, we're going to put these things together for a super movement. So when you're ready to, please go ahead and straighten your legs. And again, you're going to glue your legs together to make one big leg. Please go ahead and turn your palms down. You're going to slide your hands underneath your tush and of course your shoulder blades are down off the back of your neck. Now we're going to start with the easy part first. Go ahead and lift your heels a little bit up off the ground and crush your guts with your belly a little bit. Perfect. Now go ahead and turn your eyes to look up towards the middle of your forehead. As you're getting used to this work, this might already be enough. But for the sake of everything we are able to accomplish and all of our power, we're going to now take the breath of fire. So when you're ready, temperature of air moving around your skin. See if you can feel for the temperature of air in between your clothing and your skin. Try to feel your skin stretching around your torso as you breathe effortlessly in and out. And whatever colors, patterns, or shapes might be present here in your mind's eye, try to clear that away so that you can feel nothing, so that you can see nothing. You are just pure energy, pure action, uh, action potential.
Now the good news is that you already know that you can do that. The better news is that now we're going to try to have fun while we do that. So, without fear, without judgment, without attachment, go ahead and slide your hands back down underneath your tush. Shoulders down off the back of your neck, lots of space. You're going to again start with the easy part when you're ready. You're going to go ahead and lift your legs a little bit. You're going to pull, point your eyes towards the middle of your forehead. And we're going to go ahead and take some breath and fire. Short time. Ready? And go ahead and lower your legs. Let your hands come out from underneath you. Gently rest on the back of your skull. And again, cooling down. Feel the sensation of air around your skin. Notice what's present here in the screen behind your closed eyes. And now we're going to go ahead and truly focus on nothing. Now, of course, if you if and when you practice this on your own, you're welcome to be in Savasana for as long as you want. If and when you're ready to get up and out of this, though, please preserve this energy, this action potential, this awareness. And if it feels good, you can take some super quick twists, you can kick stuff. Trust your body to move in the ways that it knows how to, to find more pleasure, to find more space, to do the things that feel good. Give yourself some positive affirmations. Remember, this work is a practice. It is not easy. It is a forever practice, cultivating that awareness, cultivating that proprioception, trusting your body to move in the ways that you know how it moves. Thank you for practicing today. You are a whole body and perfect and loved. Thank you, Jane. You are welcome. And I think I got it all. Oh, it looks like you're still recording too. Rad.